special. Over the last uh, two months, you've heard uh, a plethora of different voices. Myself, Dennis, uh, Luis Fernandez, Brian Murphy. We've been filling in as we've mm-hmm. been uh, figuring out what's going to happen with this three to six slot. And now we have that answer. That answer is Tim Donnelly. He's joining me right here to the left. Got a chance to meet him for the first time today. Taller than me, but most people are. Uh, that is fine. Tim, how are you doing? How are you liking the Raleigh area? And also, welcome aboard. I love it. I'm, I'm excited. Um, like you said, uh, so many different voices have been filling in. want to thank all of those uh, those different voices that everybody's heard. But uh, I'm excited to get here. I'm excited to get started. Uh, I'm kind of describing this week as like training camp. Yeah. Right? yeah. I'm watching a lot of film. I'm, I'm focusing on getting better and uh, building chemistry with the teammates. And then next Monday, we, we hit the ground running and mm-hmm. Ready to, to dive into triangle sports. And you're used to that. You're a former uh, quarterback mm-hmm. at Delaware. Uh, you've been uh, in sports radio for a while now. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and, and what people can expect hearing a Tim Donnelly show. Yeah. Um, thank you for the, the, the intro there. I, I, played, <laughs> I played football at the University of Delaware. Uh, I played quarterback. Uh, partially because n- none of the schools in the triangle wanted me. Um, I, uh, I can't, now you get to come here and talk I was, crap I was about it. say, them. exactly. I, this has all been the long game. Um, no, but I, I mean, I seriously did. I went to all the camps and everything and, and ended up at the University of Delaware. Uh, when my career was over, I realized that I had spent most of my life focusing on sports when when you know other people were setting themselves up for careers. So I was like, I can coach or I can go into media. Uh, went into media been bouncing around waiting for an opportunity like this one um my i have ton of ton of connections to the area grew up coming to the area my grandparents lived out here uh okay i'm I'm gonna say this a lot because it it, i feel like it gives me a certain credibility uh my grandfather literally laid the foundation for the dean dome for for north carolina basketball wow he worked for uh, awesome worked for carolina steel and poured the concrete that that it turned into the dean dome uh, my parents met in Raleigh. Some NC State fans might not like oh, that. Oh, wait, but wait, a second, wait a second. Well, we're <laughs> we're going to bring this all around. We're not leaving anybody out. I, I learned that uh, when I announced I was coming here on Twitter. And I said, I'm excited to cover uh, North Carolina, Duke, and NC State. And oh, somebody, you got that order wrong. Somebody jumped in my, my DMs and said, why is NC State third? But, but listen, listen, Welcome. I'm, I'm going to bring it around. I'm going to bring it around. Uh, my parents met in Raleigh. Uh, when they were dating, my my mom would get my dad season tickets to Duke basketball. Nice. So this was the early to mid '80s. Okay. So it, we're talking about when Coach K was establishing himself. So I, I okay built the foundation for UNC basketball connection to early Coach K Duke basketball, and then uh, my cousin is one of the one of the I consider the better players in NC State football history in, in Mike Glennon. So I didn't uh, realize that was your cousin. Nice. Th- that's yeah. That's my cousin. That's where the height um, comes in, Chris. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm the I'm the short cousin. Um, just about six four. Uh, so so I'm connected to all three. I've been following all three. Uh, obviously I'm a, I'm a diehard NFL fan. So so you know Bryce Young and the Panthers have have all the juices flowing, and I'm excited to dive fully into the the Canes. And I think my guy Dennis is going to be helping me out a lot with that. Oh, don't you worry, I got you. Perfect. Yeah. He's he's perfect. For I've, I've I've flashcards with pronunciations. We're gonna we're gonna have it all set up and ready to go by Monday. Which name are you most comfortable uh, pronu- pronouncing that you didn't know before? Tavo Teravainen. Nice. I mean, th- there's just there's a rhythm to it. <laughs> Tuvo. Ter- it, it, oh, it, I mean, the first time I'm not. I'm. There's a reason why I didn't learn it for the first time on air. But ta- I mean, Tavo Teravainen. There's yeah. there's a nice rhythm to it. I like it. Nice. Um, next week, next Monday, right? Mm-hmm, next yeah, Monday. Everything begins uh, 3 to 6 here. Um, mm-hmm. You know, Of course, Dennis is going to be right here with you in, in the producer's chair. I'll be checking in from uh, WRL as well. Um, uh, while you're in the area, uh, have you had a chance to have a cookout tray yet? See, I've, I've – not since I've been here, but I've had cookout. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. Like that, so you're already familiar. Exactly. I've, okay. I've, I've I've checked that off the list years he ago. He knows. Uh, and and it is one of those things where when you say you're moving to North Carolina, a surprising amount of people say like, "Oh, cookout." Yeah. Uh, so so yeah, we we've we've checked that one off the list. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to have you uh, here. I'm excited to uh, to work with you from the television standpoint. And uh, welcome to the area, man. Like everybody out there, let's make them feel welcome. Uh, of course. And in, in the meantime, we have we have a week until the show gets started. Hit us up on or hit me up on Twitter at Donnelly Sports. Let's let's get to know each other ahead of the the on air time. So everybody out there at Donnelly Sports, obviously at ninety nine the fan or ninety nine nine the fan, and uh, and we'll we'll get it started from there.